Hey guys, you're watching Boom Docking with Dennis. You're also watching a nice clean windshield. <laughs> clean the inside of the windshield. Took the Love Shack, that's my F-150, to the car wash. Made it into a truck wash. So she's all squeaky clean. And I thought I would go drive some backcountry Texas dusty roads. Dusty roads? Wasn't that a wrestler? Yeah, it was like a wrestler in the south. What do we got here? Woodsboro. Let's go to Woodsboro. You know, I was talking with uh, Randy and Nancy yesterday. And uh, I mentioned it in an earlier video. They gave me a nice gift and were real pleasant people to talk to. So thank you uh, again, Randy and Nancy. Making sure I'm going the right way here, guys. Yeah, Dusty Rhodes was an old, kind of a heavy guy. Um, bleach blonde hair. I think it was like an NWA and AWA wrestling. He's one of those guys that when I was little, you know, in our area, they only had like the Vince McMahon senior uh, WWF wrestling. So uh, other than seeing them in magazines, I didn't know who any of those guys were. But um, when I would go to the magazine stand, I would uh, read every magazine that I could sit there or stand there and read, and then I'd buy a hockey magazine. <laughs> but when I was young, I read quite a bit. When I was working, uh, delivering the Philadelphia Bulletin, uh, I would read that cover to cover, including the classifieds, and then I would also read every day the Philadelphia Journal, and the Philadelphia Daily News. And whenever I could get uh, my hands on one, I would read the Philadelphia Inquirer. And, wow, look at all the cotton guys. See all the cotton bales on the left, multiple, multiple colors, pink, yellow. That's a lot of cotton. And you can tell from the fields that we just drove through that uh, recently picked, recently harvested. I kind of hesitate to put my window down because it's a bit windy. It's a bit windy. But this is just that one area's cotton and there's nothing behind us, so that's good. this goes on for quite a while I love cotton you can see little tufts of cotton on the side of the road and this will go on forever well maybe not forever I, I do tend to exaggerate I just find the whole cotton thing uh, Pretty interesting. And I heard they're getting, uh, the farmers are getting record prices for crops this year. I actually did hear that on uh, news on the radio and uh, clips that I watch on YouTube. And I done uh, Reddit online. I don't know why cotton fascinates me, but just a few years ago, the cotton people were having trouble. So I'm glad they're having a record year. They deserve it. They work hard. Hard working farmers, hard working ranchers. Backbone of America right there. So we're going to head to, uh, Tuttles in Woodsboro. Randy, Nancy, and I were talking about the 
once had fish on Fridays there. That was their special. And uh, fried fish or smoked fish. So I kind of go want to go check that out. I don't know if I've ever had smoked fish. Um, if I did, it was probably, you know, like in a tin or something. But just out of curiosity, why not? Why not smoke fish? I grew up in a predominantly Catholic area. When I lived in Seacane, look it up. Seacane, S-E-C-A-N-E, -E, Pennsylvania. 19018. And I think my mother still has the phone number that was my grandmother's phone number even though uh, they've moved out of that house but that was back in the day where uh, if you were calling someone in your neighborhood you only had to dial five numbers and I think when we lived up in Maine it was even less numbers than that but you would dial uh just the last five numbers and you could get through. And your phone number was always, like our, our first five were KI3 and that stood for Kingswood 3. I don't know what Kingswood was. <laughs> but yeah, you, you would always have that back in the day. I'm sure some of you will have a story about that. We, we, our phone number, you could just dial six and you could get someone on the phone. <laughs> I, I also remember up in Maine uh, at um, our grandmother's house, we are step at the Budway uh, house. My, that'd be my step grandmother, Mama and Papa Budway. They had a, a party line at their house. Bonnie View, Nancy and Randy, if you're watching today, Bird, that's the town that I went to where I said there was just residential homes there and a community center. There's a dog eating something dead in the road. Wow. He did not care about traffic, did he? That's odd. That poor puppy. Not really in a safe spot, my friend. Hmm. There are some windmills to the left, but they're way back off the road. It would just be a little picture of a blip. But I'm uh, kind of rambling, jumping around, going from old memories to old memories, which reminds me of Jim Croce, photographs and memories. <laughs> I love Jim Croce. I always thought he was from Philadelphia, but he wasn't. He did live there for a while, though. Just like everyone thinks Selena is from Corpus Christi, but she's not. Woodsboro. Yeah, we were up here uh, several months ago. We went to the Frosty. There you go. The Frosty. Is this the chocolate swale? Wonder what's chocolate about it? Brown water, maybe? I don't know. Certainly not hitting any traffic jams on the way to Woodsboro today, are we? I think I would enjoy living out here. Just the middle of nowhere. Sit on my front porch. Tell people to get off my lawn. Hey, why don't seagulls fly over the bay? Because that would make them bagels. Boo. That, that's an old one, but that's what Siri gave me this morning. I'm going to drive to Woodsboro. And then I need to do some maintenance stuff this morning. I need to uh, 
do some laundry and clean parts of the truck, recharge my batteries uh, for my fan, recharge my electric shaver. I haven't shaved in three days because I haven't charged my shaver. It just seems like with the second job, make my videos, work the second job, um, kind of the basic uh, things that I need to get done are not getting done. And uh, I'm sure that's the same thing with everyone. But I haven't had time to read or shave or <laughs> fun things like that. Things that I enjoy. I enjoy not having a beard. <laughs> well, guys, we're uh, coming up to Woodsboro. I appreciate you riding along. Thank you very much. We'll see you again. Thanks for watching. Once I was climbing the garden wall. Slipped and had a terrible fall. Fell so hard I heard bells ring. Held on to my ding-a-ling-a-ling. -a -ling.